This past week, my aunt came to visit Marilyn and I in the Czech Republic. We spent the first few days exploring Prague, eating loads of Czech food, and even listening to some live music. On the third day of my aunt's visit, we all took a day trip to explore the small town of Chesky Krumlov. Chesky Krumlov can be found on numerous websites as one of the top fairy tale cities in Europe. If you're new here, be sure to press the subscribe button and click that notification bell to get awesome travel videos from Words with Winos. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today is May 18th, I think. 18th? Yes. Mm -hmm. Today is May 18th and we are going to Chesky Kromlov. Chesky Kromlov is about three hours south from Prague and we are currently on a train right now going to Chesky hey. Kromlov. And also, we have a special guest, my aunt, my mom's Hi. sister, Yay. is visiting us from New Jersey, New York. <laughs> and here's Marilyn. Hi! Very so yeah, excited. we will be there in about one hour and we'll see you there. So we took our bus from a different train station and we got to Chesky Cromlow, here we are, and they dropped us off at the train station, but it's literally in the middle of nowhere and we're a 17 minute walk from downtown, I guess. So, um, here we go. The heart of Chesky Krumlov is about a 17 minute walk from the train station. It's a straightforward walk, but you could always use Google Maps or even follow other people to get there. Mm -hmm. We're walking through the streets of Chesky Krumlov and it's so beautiful. We made it, it was very easy. It was like just straight from yeah. the train station. Yeah, we literally just walked straight. I was just beauty everywhere. <gasps> <laughs> Wait, you just show this too. Zoom in. Are we in America? After walking around the enchanting city for an hour, we realized we were hungry. Unfortunately, most of the restaurants are a little touristy, but we managed to find a decent place with a great view and great food. Apparently, Chesky Kromlov is known for their beer, and we are at a restaurant, if you haven't noticed, and there's this ridiculous view behind us, and we got one of their beers, and we're going to try it. Turn it so we can see it. I'm going to turn it so you can see it. <laughs> Now I'm going to try this beer. I'm going to put it in my mouth as well. <laughs> oh my god. It might be better than like in Prague. <gasps> oh my fantastic. god. It's really, really light and tasty. And the foam is so nice. What? We just had some lunch and right on the river. And now we're going to Cloak Bridge. Da -da -da. That guy didn't know where to stand. Hey, Matt. After we admired some breathtaking views from the Cloak Bridge on the castle grounds, we wandered around the beautiful and intricate gardens there. After dancing and skipping through the garden, we left the castle grounds. We walked through the city for a while before finding a nice outdoor cafe to enjoy some coffee and treats. We went to a cafe before and just had some sweets and some coffee and a couple drinks and fuzzy in my face. And now we just walked around and found this awesome view too of the other side of Chesky Krumlov. There's just so many views like this. Everywhere we go, Everywhere. we find these views. I think that's one of the coolest things about the city is just these fake looking views. Like it Everywhere looks like you go. Everywhere painting. you go. 
And it's cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> twirling around. <laughs> Sorry, twirling around. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. <laughs> As magical as Chesky Kromlov is, you don't need more than a few hours to capture the beauty of the city. After spending about five hours in the city, we took the train and headed back to Prague. So Marilyn, what did you think of Chesky Kromlov? I thought Chesky Kromlov totally blew away my expectations. I already thought that it was going to be some kind of magical land, and it turned out to somehow be even better than that. It was absolutely incredible. There were just so many places to see the city and it was so beautiful and everything. Oh, I just loved it so much. And sorry, I can't really focus on what I'm saying right now because there are a bunch of screaming drunk people. They are just running back and forth, just screaming. <laughs> in, the, in the train hallway, they don't even have seats. They're just drinking beer and hanging out and screaming. But anyway, we did love Chesky Come Love. If you ever can go, you should go. Yeah. What do you think? I loved it as well. Great. <laughs> everything she said. Great. <laughs> Her. About five minutes after that last clip, the drunk gentlemen found their way into our train cart. They happened to be coming from Austria and throwing a bachelor party for their friend who was getting married. We ended up drinking with them the entire trip home. About what? Yeah, well, like the, they're making fun of Romans. Yeah. yeah, you have to make it for. Let me take it. Let's make it. Not a Oh yeah. I'm sorry to be. 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 To yeah. And the bees Close up. The bees, the bees, uh, the bees upside down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because wife is the bee. My, my bee is also the knowledge of me. Poke it. What is this? Mm. Uh, uh, that, that's a, 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 a special fruit. Fruit? Uh, uh, okay, fruit. Is it? Yeah.